I was in primary four. It was during the class period that I couldn't see anything at all in the board. I was, my eye was so red and it was inching me. So I went, I went back home, I told my mom that my eye is paining me, I can't see the board so clear. So my mommy took me to the hospital. Then they recommended um, eye drop. The eye drop was not so effective. Then they said I should be using glasses. And since then I've been using glasses till God visits me at the wonders of the cross. On the last day of the wonders of the cross, God visited me. On Sunday evening, after the prayer of the man of God, God touched my eyes. I was about to remove my glasses. I said, I want to remove the glasses. I removed the glasses. Behold, I see clarity. Everything was so clear. I can see the glasses. Everything was just so clear. Praise the Lord. I'm going to make you read now so that we can prove you can read. Can you read this? I must say it unto the Lord. Oh, my Lord, I am not equivalent, neither henceforth nor since thou hast spoken unto Thank you thy servant. Much. God bless you. Praise the Lord. We now go online for another striking testimony. Online, we have great things happening as we take you straight to the United States of America, Chicago precisely where Pastor Ike Okafor leads us to a live testimony from Chicago, USA. Chicago, live. Praise the Lord. God's power indeed knows no boundaries, as the power of God has been moving in mighty ways. The people, the Lord, I have here with us a precious sister, Sister Wumi Aluko who was experiencing lower extremity paresthesia that went up and down her lower extremity and by her testimony, her very life force was leaving her. Here she is to share her testimony. Praise the Lord! I, I give God the glory because of what God did for me in the month of March, the full redemption through Christ. Uh, I've never been healthy. I've never had any cause to be going to the hospital, you know, back to back or to be going to the doctors. But by the grace of God, you know, for, before the, the March crusade, I've been experiencing terrible situation in my life. My leg was like pulling out. I was having body weakness, general weakness of the body. In fact, I couldn't walk. I was limping like that, like an old woman, and I'm not really too old like that. But by the grace of God, I believed in God that day. I was on my bed. I couldn't even get up. I was watching right in bed. I said, Lord, today I must receive my miracle. To the glory of God, when the, our Father and the Lord, Pastor W. F. Kumui was ministering, I, I claimed it. I said, many people have been receiving their own miracles. Today is my own. And the Lord touched me. I just felt like, a, a, in fact, like a great shock from heaven. I believe so. And I, from that day, I couldn't feel any pain in this leg. Now I can walk. I can walk. I can walk smartly. And all pains gone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is doing great things indeed. We return you now to Lagos Live. Thank you very much as we return to the state overseer. When we return, we'll bring you more testimonies from Katsina, northern Nigeria. It's back to the anchor location. Praise the Lord. A louder hallelujah. Now we take testimonies right from here. We are going to hear from Sister Glory Jacob. Um, I want to thank the name of the Lord for how far the Lord has um, um, blessed me with triple um, testimonies in the month February and the Supernatural Liberation Crusade. I, 
I come from a um, Koshofe group of districts, and uh, my testimony goes like this. 2013, I had a minor surgery in my left uh, breast. There were lumps, about two of them there, and then uh, one was removed. The other one was not seen, and the doctor said there is no way they can be playing with the tissues of the breast. So the other one was left. After some years, it developed again, and then I went to do some scan. I saw it is now fully grown. But I made up my mind not to go for another operation. And then um, during this um, February crusade, the lump disappeared. Praise the Lord. Um, Second testimony. Now. I also have this um, severe migraine headache for some time like that. And then um, during that month too, it suddenly disappeared. Praise God. There was this um, pain I used to feel from the back of my chest down to my front chest. So painful that sometimes it seized my breath. And most times I lie down to eat, lie down to do a lot of things because the, pains, the pain will not allow me. But by the grace of God, in the supernatural liberation, the Lord gave me total healing. Praise the Lord. Oh, is that all you can do? Triple fold miracles. The lump removed, migraine headache gone, and the pain at the bar. What God cannot do does not exist. Next testifier now. Let's hear from Ijeoma Mba. Praise the Lord. My name is Ijeoma Mba. I'm from Ifako Group. Yesterday, before I came for the program, I was having severe chest pain. And I left the house and I came here and I was still having the severe chest pain. And I told God that I can't, what's this chest pain? I can't start having chest pain in a program like this when everybody's receiving their miracles. So I prayed about it. After the prayer to the man of God, I went home, I slept off. I was still having the chest pains. Then I woke up in the night. I just had this urge to wake up and just pray about the chest pain last night. I woke up and prayed, and this morning when I woke up, I've not experienced any chest pain till now. Praise God. Somebody them. shout hallelujah. How many of, you, of us were here yesterday? Can I see, see your hand up? Okay, you had that powerful prayer, and the power of God descended upon this venue, and the testimonies have started coming. Your own testimony is the next one. The third one now. Let's hear from this brother. Brother Gabriel Ude. Orchestra, get ready, because we have a lot to praise God about this evening. Praise the Lord. I am Brother Gabriel Ude from uh, Bagadawo District. In fact, this is precisely old Bagada group. By the grace of God, I am born again, and the Lord has been helping me. Sometimes in 1986, I was into a food store business. In one of the markets, um, as we were loading the stuffs into the bags, those bags to weigh about 120 kilograms. So as I was lifting it, I had like an um, ejection needle on my waist. And since then, I've been having waist pain. Brethren, time will not permit me to narrate what I passed through. I managed it medically. There was um, one hospital, St. Anthony, around us here. There was no kind of injection and, uh, and um, pain relief I couldn't take. In fact, up to 1996, I decided to stop medication because I discovered I was just wasting my money. And I begin to believe God because God has done so much in my life. I cannot begin to satisfy all God has done in my life. But glory be to God. Brethren, when you talk of pain, I pray for every one of you. You will not have pain in Jesus' name. But up to October, 
global crusade. The last choir song of a uh, Potter God choir, it is finished. While the song was going on, I came in, I had a voice behind me, check your waist, it is finished. Glory be to God, that has been the end. It was like something was removed from my waist. Since then, glory be to God, praise the Lord. Can you shout, it is finished. Since 1986, excruciating pain in the waist, everything disappeared when the man of God prayed. Let's worship God with the orchestra right now as we rise and worship the Lord. And let our global audience join us.